All right, hello, Vin, it's Silver Kyle, and today I am going to be going over all the main book series and authors that I hope to read in 2024. Now, I do not expect to finish all of this at all, but I'm fairly confident that I'll, I'll at least read maybe one book uh, for 75% of the series that are here. And I'll be very happy if that's the case. So what we have is some series that I'll hopefully be reading throughout the year as I'm trying to get through all of them. And others might just be the beginning of the series or another book in that series that is coming out this year. The order that I have them in is more so the order that I see myself reading throughout the year. So some of these at the very end will be only be touched at the very end of the year and more so if I'm happy with the schedule that I'm at with where I am in my reading, that I could start some of these series near the end. The other ones are kind of like the things that I really want to touch in 2024. So let's dive into this with arguably the most anticipated series for me to finish this. Well, not finish, I won't finish it this year, but I'm going to be reading quite a bit of it. And that is The Wheel of Time. And right here we have The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. I tried to finish all oh, I first started reading the wheel of time when it was still being released and I got up to book nine so now I'm going to finally finish it restarting the whole thing because I feel like you have to do that because these are massive books and that was year, like late 2000s that I was up, up to book nine so I definitely have to reread a lot of this stuff and I am absolutely loving this I'm already done the eye of the world I just finished it a few days ago so be, uh, I'll be doing a review of that pretty soon I'm happy that I'm already uh, kind of on schedule, but I'm hoping to read, I would love to read one Wheel of Time book a month because there's 14 books in the series, technically 15 with because there's a prequel and I do want to read the prequel, although it's a lot shorter. It's only like 300 pages. Um, so that'll be a breeze compared to the, these other tombs here. But this is such an incredible Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, like a Song of Ice and Fire type of high fantasy. I absolutely love it the battles are incredible the magic system is interesting and it's to me it's the characters and the world building this is second only to tolkien in terms of world building in my opinion i absolutely love it so i'm very much looking forward to reading wheel of time uh, throughout the year if i can't read one per month i want to at least read eight so then in 2025, I only have seven to go. So less than half of the series. So at least half the series this year. And I, 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 I'm giving myself that as an option because I know that there's so many books that I want to read that if I kind of fall behind, I can take out one of the Wheel of Time books and focus on something else. But at least eight of these for 2024, if I keep up with my schedule. The other series that I'm looking at reading, although I'm not really sure because, so I already finished Eye of the World. I've started the Atlas six. I'm about 150 pages in and I'm hating it. I am absolutely hating this book. This is as close to trash as you can get to it, but I am going to finish it because there, the magic system and the plot is kind of interesting. So what we have here is there, it's a dark academia type novel where there's, um, six people that are really, um, skilled in magic, incredibly intelligent as well. And they're being considered to join this society where they're going to be able to have access to the uh, Library of Alexandria and a bunch of different kinds of magic that, that's within the, these texts. And they have to basically, uh, only five of them will continue. So they have to eliminate one of them. Like they have to choose which one will not continue. So that's an interesting premise, but the characters are absolutely horrible. So I do not know if I will be finishing that trilogy um, ever. We're going to see though, maybe, maybe it'll redeem itself as it goes along, but I'm having a really, I'm surprised at how hard I'm having a, I'm having such a hard time with this book. It's not great. Another one that I'm really looking forward to finishing though, uh, like the wheel of time is the Lord of the Rings. This has been 24 years in the making almost since I read the Hobbit and started Lord of the Rings a, a year after that. And I never finished it. So Return of the King is the last one that I need to read. And I'm very much excited to see how this finally ends in Tolkien's way of explaining it. I've seen the movie, but I know that there's more to it than just what the movie sh movies um, showed. Next up is The Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. I read the synopsis for this, and this sounds just an, an like an incredible amount of fun. It's been 27 years since I think we, we've seen the sun. 
yeah, since the last sunrise. And basically, like, vampires are slowly starting to take over because, I mean, they've had, you know, a quarter of a century to kind of do this. And there's one character that is specifically meant to be trying to eliminate um, vampires and things of the night and keep humanity safe. But as the numbers are dwindling, it just sounds like a fun time. Massive book and just gorgeous to look at, too. And the sequel is coming out in March of this year. So I definitely want to read this before that time comes. Okay. Next up is not specifically a series, but it's an author that I, I hope to read quite a bit of in 2024. And that is uh, Stephen King. Specifically, The Shining is the next one that I'll be reading fairly soon, probably at the end of the month or in early February. And then the other one that I'm very much looking forward to is The Stand. There's another few it, it'll depend on how things go this is kind of kind of going to be like wheel of time where i'm saying I, I want to read a few of these but if i need to read other things at that point in time i definitely will but i definitely want to read the shining the next one is the Ra uh, rage after that and the stand those three i definitely want to get to this year and i'm very much looking forward to it as well next up is probably going to be this one honestly is going to be the Empire of the Wolf book three. And so this is the Justice of the Kings is book one. Uh, the uh, third one is, I've, I've already read books one and two. Book three, the end of the trilogy is coming out uh, the beginning of February. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Kind of seeing how uh, Richard Swan will be wrapping up uh, this series where it's kind of like you've got, the, the main character is the uh, kind of narrator of uh, this trilogy. And she's kind of being initiated to be joining in and becoming a justice with with uh, the other other main character that that um, is 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 a justice. So he kind of is the judge, jury, and executioner in this world where they have investigations. But a lot has been while there's like these a lot of political stuff going on and potentially a war. It, it's it's getting interesting, and I'm really. Uh, Looking forward to seeing how Swan will wrap this up because the one thing that Richard Swan does excellently is the ending of his novels. Both books, the last 50 to 100 pages are excellent. And it's so rare that I get to the end of a book and feel like they nailed the, end, the ending. It's very hard to do. And I've been set completely satisfied both times. So I'm really looking to see how he's going to wrap up this series. Uh, next up is going to be a, a book that I've heard so much about, or no, I've heard the name of it so many times, and I have no idea what the book is about. And I don't really want to. I'm just going to go into it blind. <laughs> this seems gonna, is going to seem really odd, but Dune. I've heard so many talk, people talk about this, and I've always kind of been like, eh. I, I don't even know what it's about, but I just always kind of went, eh, I don't know about it. I, I don't know if I want to dive into that. Um, but the movies are coming out, like the sequel uh, to the, the new Dune movie is coming out uh, this year, I think in March. So I want to read that before uh, I, I dive into that movie. And same thing for the first movie. I have not seen it either. So those are things that I definitely want to get into. And also, I mean, this copy is just absolutely beautiful. This is such an incredible copy. I mean, that kind of helped. Don't judge a book by its cover. Eh, I sometimes, do. I often do. <laughs> I'll stick with an author though. Sometimes I'm, I'm going to show you some incredibly boring cover art here, but because the author is so good, I absolutely love it. All right. Another one that I kind of want to read because there's a sequel coming out later on this year is Inheritance of Magic. And I don't even remember what this is about. Some kind of modern book in it. Like, it's set in the modern world, and there's magic. That's all that I remember about it. It's not very big, though, and I just... It seemed interesting to me. And, I mean, there was a cat. And that... <laughs> that sometimes is enough for me to be interested. Another series that I, I just started last year. And it's not fantasy. So, a lot of what I'm, I'm bringing up here is fantasy or sci-fi. This isn't... This is like a mystery thriller investigative novel... Or, or series, and that is the Pen Cage series by Greg Isles. I read The Quiet Game, absolutely loved it. It was my second favorite read of 2023. It was incredible, and for for a mystery novel, uh, essentially. And this is the continuation, so it's, it's uh, it follows the same main character called Pen Cage, 
and there is six novels out with with the pen cage character and book seven technically with that character is coming out later this year so i kind of want to read all of these so i'd have to read book two to six to be ready for seven but i'm hoping that i'll be able to do that this year and uh because i loved the first one so much i really do think that there's a strong chance that i'll be able to do it because once i start reading it i get completely hooked so looking forward to that now we have a few so this is the last series that i have here that i kind of want to get to and then the other ones depend on how if another book comes out for that series because things are kind of up in the air so we're going to see about that but this is another one that is get, getting a sequel but it's kind of at the bottom of the list out of everything that I've mentioned so far. And that is Mark Lawrence's The Book That Wouldn't Burn. It's essentially about two characters that are kind of stuck. In, I think the main character is stuck in a library. And that's kind of all that it talks about. He's been stuck in a library and another person has been stuck somewhere as well. And they're going to meet up and things will happen. That's from what I remember. So there's probably a lot more to this than that. But the sequel's coming out later on this year, so I kind of want to give this a, a chance because it's only two books that I, I would only have to read this and then I'd be caught up and be able to read the 2024 novel. Now, before we dive into the other maybes, well, no, we got to mention just the one maybe because there's if there's a strong chance that the sequel comes out, this would probably be, beat the Wheel of Time in terms of my excitement for, for books that I want to read in 2024 because I cannot wait for book two of the hierarchy series the will of the many was my favorite read of 2023 by far loved the quiet game but this took the cake i i'm still thinking about it today the the the, the review is coming it, it, it's coming but oh so good so if we do get the sequel this year I, i'm definitely finishing that and whatever i'm reading i'm dropping like if i'm halfway through something i i usually read two books at the same time anyway, but I will stop reading whatever I'm reading at that time, not touch them again until Hierarchy Book 2 is due, is done, because I can't wait for that. Now, I do have just a quick list of a few other uh, series that are getting um, book ones in the series that are starting this year. So the first one is the Tainted Cup. That comes out in February, and that is some kind of investigative comedic fantasy novel from what i gather and that seems kind of fun it's two characters and they kind of play off each other kind of from what i gathered like uh, uh sherlock and Hol and um watson kind of vibe set in fantasy and there's comedy i'm in for that the next one is the silver blood promise and from what i gather from that one it's it's more so like an old school uh, fantasy novel or an, a, a nod to that i could be wrong but i think that that's the the vibe that i was getting from that so that caught my eye definitely want to read that next is the mercy of gods i believe is that that's what it's called and that is a sci-fi novel that has one of the authors from the expanse i haven't read the expanse yet but i've heard so many good things i do have the first three novels i've just got so much that i to read that that will probably be pushed back until next year 2025 i already have a list of everything that i want to read in 2025 or the beginning anyway uh because it all depends on what happens at the end of the year and how far i am with everything but yeah mercy of the gods book one it doesn't sound like it's in the expanse universe so that's why i will uh dabble in that if it doesn't touch the expanse series if it is in that world in the expanse i probably won't i probably won't read it and the last one is the gods below and i don't remember what that one is it's some kind of fantasy novel from what i what i remember now now we can go into if i finish all of these not necessarily finish all these series but i'm really happy at where i am i'm at with all of these oh i don't have it over here but it's 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 over there and i'm it, I, I, i'm i don't want it it's under a bunch of books of Blood and Fire by Ryan Cahill. Cahill, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but I definitely want to read that. I probably won't read A Blood and Fire. I think that there's... Is it The Exile? I can't remember. There's there's a novella that's like 100 pages that happens technically prior to uh, Of Blood and Fire. So I want to read that first, and then I'll dive into A Blood and Fire. But And I really want to read uh, that entire series this year. So I... I should have grabbed it. Oh, well, that, that that's another series that I definitely want to read. So I'm looking forward to that uh, this year. I, I would say the top three are Wheel of... Well, no. Hierarchy, so The Will of the Many. Um, Wheel of Time and A Blood and Fire. Those are the main ones that I'm really looking forward to this year. And then probably Pen Cage after that. Anyway. 
one series here. Now, this is if I kind of I'm happy with it where I'm at with my reading. This I might read, especially if the third book in the series is coming out this year, but it's kind of up in the air. It looks like there might it might be coming out in October, though. And that is The Shadow of the Gods by John Gwen. I've never read anything by John Gwen, so I'm really looking forward to diving into um, this Nordic kind of uh, writer here. And this, uh, this, the, this plot line here is that basically when the gods had this big battle and went to war, it kind of just left everything in ruin. And now there's three specific characters that are kind of on course to, to kind of see something in that we're going to have remnants of like, basically this, from what I gather the, the, that this battle of the gods happened and we're going to see some repercussions of when they had that war what happened afterwards and we're going to have follow three characters as they kind of navigate this world i think i don't know that that's what i got from the back here so looking forward to this the, the second book is already out and it looks like there's a chance that the third will come out in october of this year so if that if that's confirmed i'm probably going to have to put this ahead maybe move some stephen king or some wheel of time set aside so that i can finish the first two there then these ones are just like if for some reason I have, I'm reading everything. I don't have to push Stephen King or Wheel of Time aside and I'm wanting to dive into something else that's not already scheduled for my TBR. I have every month scheduled from now, from January until December. And I have some of like 2025 as well, like every book that I want to read. I'm extremely OCD about these kinds of things, but it works. It, it keeps me going. So if by chance I have some extra time. I would really love to get into the Star Wars books. I bought a ton of them and then I just started reading other things and I keep postponing this. I do think that probably 2025 is going to be when I can start reading this more so at the end of the year as well because I, I, I have to get through the Wheel of Time, finish Wheel of Time in 2025, Cosmere starts in 2025. Uh, it's going to be a busy year. <laughs> but I'm, I'm catching up on a lot of stuff at this point in time. Probably I'm going to start The Expanse in 2025. Anyway, if by chance I, I have a little bit of time, I will start and it would be uh, the Mandalorian armor, which is uh, the Bounty Hunter Wars book one. So I'd want to finish those three and then it would go to the X-Wing uh, series, the first six uh, in those. Another one that I could just totally see myself reading is the Hardy Boys books. They're like 150 pages. They're meant for like young teens, kids kind of thing. Like it, it'll take me two seconds to read this. I could probably finish this in a day, uh, but I... It's a guilty pleasure, and it's a nice palate cleanser every so once in a while. And last but not least is a series that I, if I don't start it this year or start rereading it because I, I never finished the series, I, I, I have a tendency to do that. That's why I have these schedules so to make sure that I finish everything. Um, seems to be working so far. But um, yeah, one that I really want to get to is The Legend of Drist, and this is Homeland. I've read this two or three times now love it this is one of the best like this is the perfect it's book one and the technically what robert um ari salvatore i think his name is robert like bob so it, it works that I, I was gonna say rob anyway um what he did is he wrote basically book four five and six and then he went back and wrote prequels kind of like star wars and so this is technically book one and it should be i think that you dive into this first the other benefit of that is that this book is absolutely incredible. Uh, this it shows the world of the Dark Elves, the Drow, and how their society works and how dark it is. But it's really fascinating. And the politics in this book for, for this world is really fun and interesting too. So you get that, plus then you get how evil everybody is and how corrupt, and it's not even really corrupt, it's just that everybody's evil and trying to kill each other and there's levels to the, the to the houses and they're all trying to find this war and trying to find ways to betray each other and stab each other in the back and slowly rise up and be one of the top eight houses in this world, in the city. And you've got Drist, who is pure purest good character like captain america in fantasy is driz dorden and he's got this incredibly gwen Rivar panther oh it's so good it's so freaking good so definitely looking forward to reading that but i don't think it'll be 2025 or 2024 i think that'll be in 2025 and there's like 40 books so that's why i'm i'm like i gotta get through a lot of other stuff before i start diving into that because that'll take a long time 
so many books, so little time. I need like a I, a, a t-shirt of that. I need a mug of that because it's so true. Uh, but I'm hoping that, you know, with all the lists that I have, uh, I'm going to get through quite a bit of this. So let me know what series you're going to be reading in 2024. And uh, yeah, you have all been bearded in. Beardage.